What up, y'all? Bankroll Tim, bet it up. LS, MC, getting all that killer suspension for these Ruchis. Ruchis, front tire a little too big for my style, but whatever. Um, you guys with the undercoating, undercoating, undercoating. This car might have gotten it when it was new because this car is so clean. But you guys taking the undercoating and spraying it on these frames, the spray can shit from the store, garbage. If you ain't got the time or, to, or don't want to take the time to clean the frame and put some paint on it, you're wasting your money by buying them cans of undercoating. And if you don't shake the shit out of it, it doesn't go on right. But anyways, so as you can see, that's all undercoating. Again, maybe it's been there since day one, maybe not. But it's on this thing thick, real thick. So, I spent two hours today on this side. And it's still not clean enough to start notching. Yeah, I could start notching it, but still. I gotta go through it, notch it out, play the back in. So of course, I'm gonna cut out where I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut up into here, cut up into here. Because here's the problem. When you guys are notching cars, you know, the people that think they're notching, you notch behind this line, this is where the tire hits. It hits this mount right here. So you guys are, are cutting out the, like this little section where the tire normally hits here. But then you're causing a tire to hit here and hit out here because you guys are notching goofy shit out here. Let the professionals do it. If you don't know how to notch, just leave it alone. And you guys out there with the cars that are being so damn cheap, if you got a nice car, like this car is a very nice car, dude did the right thing, brought it to me, it's going to be notched real nice. Don't get me wrong, back in the day I was doing some notches that weren't as clean as what I'm doing today. But anyways, spend the money, go to a shop that knows what they're doing. Stop fucking around with these shops that have no clue. Investigate, do your research. So, with that being said, this found out what this CL means. That's the interior package. This is a pillow style interior CL on this LS. It's got the pillow style oh, interior. Very nice car, very clean car. There's no rust on this car anywhere. If you can come and find it, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Might give you more than that, but I know you can't find it. So, quick little update, what's going on? Welder broke the other day, had to get a new piece for it. I'm thinking about buying a new welder. I should just buy it. Anyways, the back of this car, uh, got a whole bunch more stuff in it. Got some more to go. It's almost fully welded. Uh, GN, nothing, nothing on the color. That's cause whatever. But anyways, I'm in here busting my hand. I haven't picked the axles back up from for this rear end. Um, the guy called me today. So I'm gonna pick the axles, axles up tomorrow and narrow this thing. Uh, it's a G-body eight and a half. I went ahead and I went two and three quarters shorter. So like I said, I'm putting the control arm buckets on it, adjustable and the bracing on it. So it's gonna look good. And obviously you'll know what's a bedded up customs rear end. And that's where we're at. Uh, again, it's just going to be a short video. Thank you, Tim. Bad Up Customs. Appreciate y'all. We just hit 8,000. Appreciate everybody. Subscribers. Everybody that's been good to me. And that's all I got. I'm on a bra. I'm tired. I'm hurting. And I'm out of Peace out.